We gotta make it work, honey. Uh, uh. <laughs> I'm annoyed. Listen. Warmth. Warm, orange, sun, right? Orange, yellow, sun. It's giving carrot juice, okay? I like this look, yes. Summer blush, baby, ew. <laughs> Hi. Ooh, is that left over lash glue? Trifling, Ooh. What up, Raguan? It's Tissain. It's your girl, Minna Debia. In this video, we are going to be doing a routine that I recommend for you using some matte products that should, there's no guarantee because all of our skin is different. We all live in different areas, but I think that this routine will definitely keep you matte this spring and summer. We're gonna start off doing eye masks because honestly, it really is a great way to start off the makeup process. It'll make everything look really, really good under the eyes. This video is sponsored by Sephora and Murad. And I'm gonna show you how to use the Dr. Zion and Murad Retinol Youth Renewal Eye Masks. So let's get started. So these are gonna visibly minimize the appearance of fine lines while being gentle on the skin. They're huge too, so they're gonna span from the front of the eye all the way up to the top, you'll see. And of course, this is something that you can do in the morning or in the evening time. It is so juicy, so much product on this. And there are two inside, so let's take off the mesh. And I'm gonna put these on for 15 minutes before I actually do my makeup. So it has blue agave extract in it to visibly firm skin in minutes. So we gonna be here, okay? And we are gonna check this out. Okay, I took the mesh off. Slippery, which is good. There's a lot of product on here. Go right up in here. You get it right where the lash line is. These nails aren't helping, but <laughs> you know the vibes. And right up on the side of the face, like so. And I like to take the excess product and really make sure that it's on. Okay. Also, in here, you have passion fruit extract to help minimize the look of puffiness. Make sure you put it in a like lifting motion up just like this. All right, so give me 15 minutes. I'm gonna come right back and we're gonna take these off and see how the under eye situation is looking. So 15 minutes is done and these are made custom not to slip and it's so true. These have not fallen down. One thing I cannot stand is when eye masks slip down, they're annoying. These stayed right in place, so love that. And they're made in partnership with Dr. Zion who is here on social, internal medicine, and I really think these are great. So let's get a close up of the skin. Yes and yes, honey. I'm gonna link these below for you so you can tap and check them out. Add them to your skincare routine and or before your makeup routine, either Way, a good eye mask to lift the skin firm, plump, all of the things is really, really important. So check below for that and the other products that I'm going to use in this video. And now the scary part about this video is that I'm trying out, yes, the Fenty foundation that I've used time and time again. I had to get a new shade though. So my new shade is 490. And if you saw the TikTok, I'm just so irritated by how this looks and I've been shaking this forever. It won't blend, but when I pumped it out, it was my right shade. So it did mix the way it needs to. Okay. That's that but we know that this is tried and true very very matte it's just been a while since i've used this i haven't used the fenty foundation since last year this color is dark i know that in the summertime i'm gonna get a little bit darker so it'll match better as the months go on but right now it is april it's gonna look a little dark but you know we make it work around here you know what i'm saying all links are gonna be below obviously to all the things that i use there are a number of items here that are new that i'm just like don't play me today do not play me today okay so skincare is done in general i'm gonna do a few extra things today let's go through that. Done my skincare, SPF is on, right? Do all of that, do not skip it. Even though you want to be matte, you gotta take care of your skin first, okay? I'm just going to blot the oils around my nose. Actually, I'm doing my whole T-zone, okay? I never do this, but I wanna do it today because I just really wanna be matte right now, okay? And yes, you could use a mattifying powder, but I don't want to add too much, okay? Because of the primer I'm going to use, which in my other video I recommended to you, it's the NYX Can't Stop, Won't Stop Mattifying Primer. This you gotta be really careful with because of the way it's formulated. It gets ashy, it can be clumpy, you wanna just be careful. So I'm going a little bit at a time because it can get 
ashy, you can get clumpy, all the things. I'm gonna start here. Blend it fast and then pat it in. Don't continue rubbing it because it gets ashy, which to me is good because if you were ever one of those people like me who use milk of bag, then you know you wanted to see the ash because then you knew it was working. Look at that, okay? And then I'm gonna do my forehead. Blend it fast, get it everywhere you want it, and then just pat it in. Gotta move quickly and I just didn't want it to look clumpy with a film of oil on my face, okay? Look at how mattifying we look already, okay? And what I'm doing is wiping off the extra on my paper towel before applying it again because this can get pilly, which means it just crumples up and just looks gross and annoying. So do that, okay? Getting some more on my hair and let's do the nose and a little bit to the cheek and then let's pat. I'm not doing my whole face. I'm just putting this in the areas where I get oily. Oh, see, we got some peeling already, but that's okay. I know how to work this. Take a different finger and just press, okay? Just press it in, don't be alarmed. Careful with the side of the nose. You don't want this to get all clumped up, all right? Now I do want natural oils to be on the sides of my face. You look healthy that way. I don't need my whole face looking dry. That's weird. Okay, let's stop here, all right? We have enough on. This stuff is good. I've used it time and time again, okay? Really good there. And see, I've already primed my lips and now we're gonna do the, the foundation. I'm putting this in the back of my hand because sometimes when you squeeze it, it be squirting and like making a mess. I don't have time for that today. We got some back of the hand action going. Here's the color 490. Oh my gosh, I know it's gonna be, yeah, it's dark, but it's gonna work. Now, if I remember correctly, Fenty, you gotta blend fast because she dries up quickly. So let's hustle. Hustle and get this where it needs to be. I couldn't go any lighter because the other undertones wouldn't work for me. Either it was too cool, too orange, just not gonna work. So I had to go with this one since it's neutral and it's dark, but you know, we gonna figure this out, okay? Not putting too much on the hairline, taking the excess on the brush toward the hairline. Now, because of the way that the primer is, you don't wanna be dragging too much because that primer, it'll easily peel up on you. This is matching my hair. <laughs> oh my God, my <laughs> Woo, this is dark, baby. Wow. Yeah, and I'm not doing mixing. I need the full Fenty Pro Filter formula. I need it. I need it to be matte, just end of story. So I did have to add some more to even out the coverage. It was looking very spotty, not for me. All right, now, because the shade is darker than my skin tone, it's, it's unfortunate. I wish they had a neutral that would match me because the next neutral shade is far too light. So here we are. So now when it comes to concealer, like I've told you time and time again, I cannot use the same shade I normally would because it's going to look way too light because the color, the shade of my foundation is very, very dark. I also am not going to use a mattifying concealer because the foundation is extremely matte as you can see and as you've, if you've used this as you know and it will be very hard to blend if I did that. So I'm gonna use the Lawless Concealer which I have been loving, it's full coverage. It feels whipped. Like if it just, yeah, like whipped cream. It's just amazing, okay? So this is gonna allow some time to blend in, which I do want. This is the shade that if I were to be using, let's say the Makeup Forever HD foundation, I would use under my brow to highlight, but I wasn't using it under my eye because it wasn't light enough. But because this foundation color is very dark, I'm using it under my eye or to highlight my face is what I mean. Because again, this foundation is very dark. If I were to use the other one that I was using, it would look mad light so don't forget that number one you do need to go darker with your foundation in the warmer months and number two change your concealer color as well if you're gonna stick with your winter concealer color you're gonna be looking real crazy I'm just saying makeup sponge Amazon will link this below as well I always like to start toward the outer part of the cheek blending upward because why not give the illusion of a lift. I mean, we've already done our eye mask for God's sake. You wanna really continue with the pulling up of the face, you know? It's the illusion when it comes to the concealer, baby. Okay, so boom, already, if you can see, the face has lightened a bit. 
just simply with the highlight, okay? Now we are gonna contour, and you know that normally, depending on the foundation I use, which is usually in the bathroom, the Makeup Forever HD Skin Foundation, my contour, which is usually in the bathroom, it's the KVD Good Apple. The color is 098. Normally, it will look really, really dark, but because I am wearing a dark foundation, it shouldn't look that dark. It'll look, it'll look good, you know? I'm gonna use the back of my sponge because that I forget is the way I like to use this product, but I've been reaching for the Sephora 70 brush, which is still really good. But the other day I was like, wait a minute, why am I not using the sponge? I like the way it looks with the sponge. So pouncing some of this on with the sponge, honey, starting off here toward the hairline because I'm both applying it and blending it at the same time. I'm taking away one of the steps by doing a two in one, basically, okay? So right there to just chisel out and further enunciate the highlight and staying close to the hairline. I suppose I could have skipped this and just done powder contour, but I don't feel like it. I like for my face to look snatched, okay? So we ain't gonna skip nothing in this tutorial. All right, so another product that I'm using for the first time is by Say, S-A-I-E, and this is the Radiant Loose Setting Powder. It's translucent, okay? Now, as you heard in my other video where I talked about how to pair everything together to be matte for the summertime, you can, of course, use a matte setting powder, a matte concealer, a matte foundation, a matte primer, a matte setting spray, matte, 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 matte. But you might find that it's too much for you, and you might find that your skin is way too dry. So then you can finagle it, mix it up, depending on how you feel. So I could have used a matte setting powder, but I wanna try this product out, explaining it because it's very important that you understand what you're doing and why. So let's try this now. I have been diffusing the setting powders before putting it on my face because going right from the product to the face is a no-no. We ain't doing that anymore in 2022 or in the days and the years to come because then you're asking for, you're, you're setting yourself up, okay? So I just patted to make sure that there are no harsh lines. I have product in the cap of the product, right? And then I have, I picked up the product on the back of my hand and then I diffused it on my hand <laughs> and then I'm applying it. Wow, okay. I see some shimmers. See how it's not too much, first of all, which is good because sometimes this stuff, when you take too much, like, just no. Okay, back of the hand and then under the eye. Wow. So, oh, man, maybe I shouldn't have went in twice. Okay, keep on going over. Yeah, keep on going over it. If you just leave it, it's gonna be a no-no, you know? Wow. I see some shimmers. Can you see? Interesting. Okay, because my face is so neutral, it's just throwing me off a little bit. Getting more product inside the cap to now do the other side. Okay, I think this looks really, really good. Now, because the foundation is neutral and the concealer that I choose, although the shade was good, it wasn't too light, it was neutral. So it's not giving me the warmth that I want on my face. You know, warmth like think sunny orange, right? It's not giving me that. I'm feeling very flat and gray. So let's correct this by using a face powder. This is one I always use. One size Patrick Star is broken up girl that's why i'm holding it like this it's broken up but we ain't gonna waste around here okay this has a golden undertone because the color is dark 4g okay so taking some of this this should give me the warmth back to my face that i'm clearly missing right now <laughs> all right we gotta make it work honey because uh, uh, i always want a warm foundation because then i could be looking too orange i don't need that in my life you know tapping off excess always start right down here and I can already see. Oh, I was, okay, yeah, I'm not gonna do that. I was gonna set my contour with the LYS bronzer, but that's gonna be too dark. This contour is good enough. Ain't no need to do all that, okay? Let's just do this. Again, just changing things up depending on how everything's looking based on what you're using. You can't just do the same thing with every look. It's just not gonna work. I'm going around the contour, but then of course, going over it at some point, but I don't want to completely take it away. The first places where I patted this brush, I was doing it very lightly, okay? You're just lightly bringing everything together. One thing I'm gonna do is I'm still gonna highlight no matter how matte we're doing our face, okay? It is the summertime. Let's get it together. Rare Beauty Luminizer, back of the hand, warms it up. It helps just with blending everything together by having it on the skin. And then I just wash my hands afterward, wiping off the excess from my sponge because I did use this for my contour remember and then pouncing it further diffusing and then applying right here 
under the eye area going around to really further blend that out. Like, come on. And then the same on this side. And then of course, down the nose, upper lip, and right here. The face is coming together. It's darker than I usually do, so I'm looking and we're like, oh, what are we doing right now? Because you know how normally my foundations are a little bit lighter than my Ah, it, like the way it all comes together in the end my face looks brighter than my body and some people hate that they're like your foundation is too light it's like excuse me this is what i like okay this is what i prefer so because it's all coming together and i look darker like i'm matching my neck more it just feels odd to me <laughs> oh my god it feels odd to me okay i'm gonna i love this foundation i'm gonna put it aside for when i get darker this summer it's definitely not gonna be my foundation all the time right now but like i said the undertones of 470 480 just weren't i have them in my studio the undertones are just not for me i can't do it so here i am stuck with 490. all right i did grab this beauty bakery bite size snackaroons blush in the color hey pumpkin i'm afraid this is gonna be too light i don't know this is the sigma f44 I'm nervous. I don't know the pigmentation on this. I've never used a Beauty Bakery blush before. If you have, comment and let me know. I don't know how this is gonna come out. Like, should I use it as a topper or is it okay to use by itself? And when I say topper, I just mean use something else from the hairline here and then use this more toward the front, but I don't know how I'm feeling about this. Maybe because the foundation is too dark. <laughs> I'm annoyed. Listen, take what you need from this video, baby. Take what you need my god no but the orange is looking good though it's looking fire i just need to put another blush this is gonna be a topper for me this can't be a by itself but here we are okay wait this is this is a warming the face up because it's orange warmth warm orange sun right orange yellow sun same family so it is warming the face up do you see maybe i can do this by itself <laughs> I like how this is warming the face up because like I said, it was giving real neutral. It was doing so much. Like I would not do a nude lip with this shade of foundation. I just need some warmth, but we'll see. Now brows. So I've got these new brow products from Give. Gwen Stefani, right, Sephora. This is the Most Def Instant Definition Sculpting Brow Pencil. This is a very unique shape. This I can see myself using toward the tail of my brow. Obviously not the beginning, like just no, not the way my brows are set up. This is the one that I'm gonna use for the beginning. Hella On Point Ultra Fine Brow Pencil. Boom, this is what it's gonna be. Oh, and these nails, Amazon, I'll link them below for you. Love them, press-ons, they're so cute. So sexy, chic, fierce, timeless all the things okay brushing these microbladed brows up but you know we like to do our own thing now i need a dark color for my brows because my foundation is dark so any light looking color ain't gonna show how it needs to so this is my first time using this let's see if it's dark enough nope it is not mm, kind of sort of but i know that it would show more if my foundation were lighter but we're gonna make this work this setting powder is really nice and when you look up close I see subtle, subtle shimmer. Wow. Come on, say. It's my first product that I've tried from them. I like that. We're definitely gonna need that darker color out toward the end or really to fill in the whole thing because this is, I can't see anything. <laughs> All right, so I did want to brighten up the face some more. <laughs> I'm using this Kosas concealer. If you've used this, let me know. This is the color 8.7 and it is warm and it's lighter than the concealer that I used on the rest of my face. So I'm just gonna brighten things up a little bit. I could have gone lighter on the rest of my face. That's it too. I didn't go as light as I could have. So it's feeling kind of flat, but. I know sometimes y'all appreciate a, a highlight, a face highlight that is not too light. So here, you have one today. <laughs> I'm not sure if I said this or not, but the brow products didn't show because the foundation is so dark. I'm gonna use those on a different look when I use a lighter foundation. So I did use it, but it, like, it wasn't really giving. So what I had to do was take a black liner softly, but you might think it's dark, but I like it because it shows. I had to do a black liner toward the outer part of my brow. This is the Maybelline Tattoo Studio smoky gel pencil. From time to time, I do take a black pencil to really snatch up the outer part of the brow. Now, are we doing an eye look today? I don't know, I, I do. So this is a Too Faced Shadow Insurance 24 hour eyeshadow primer. Now, I wanna challenge myself to use this, so I'm doing it now. But you know that when I prime my eyelid, I like to use 
a paint pot type of product because it'll give me color on the lid and then it dries down, you know, just like matte. These kind of products that look like a lip, lip cream or something are just clear. Like it's just nothing there. So then I'm just like, how's the color gonna show? I like to cancel out the color on my eyelid by using perhaps the painterly paint pot, which is a pinky white color or soft ochre, which is a yellowy white color, you know, the beige color, and then put the colors on top. But here we are. Ooh, is that leftover lash glue? Trifling, whoa. If you've used this shadow insurance, let me know what you feel about it. Is it gonna get tacky? Hmm, let's see, it doesn't say on here. Okay, hold on, it did dry down. Okay, it dried down to be a powder. All right, I was worried it was gonna just stay like that. Okay, so it dries down to be a powder, but it's not giving me, again, that white light pink color that I usually prefer, but here we are. All right, I'm still using this 3502 palette from Morphe because it's just the greatest. Okay, we are warming the face up right now by using a reddish brown combination of colors. Take any eyeshadow palette you have and just take the RNG brown type colors and blend them into the crease like so. This is indeed warming up the face in the way that we need it because remember it was flat because it was so neutral, okay? Once you combine things together, you can really bring the look together, okay? So there, that's looking good. Oh my God, the look is coming together, honey. I can't lie. I felt like I was using too much blush earlier, but I'm loving the way this orange is sitting on the face, girl. I'm taking some more. I think this looks so good. Now I'm gonna do an orange lip because why not? And of course we need to ombre the outer part, right? We're not taking such a bold lip by itself. That would be insane in my opinion. This is the Lip Bar Savage. If you have this from my IG Reel, then you're already one step ahead. All right, I just dried that down a little bit with my fan. And now I'm gonna use Fenty Beauty Mademoiselle lipstick in the color Pumpkin Rose. Woo! Girl, come on, come on, talk about it. It's giving carrot juice, okay? I like this look, yes. What do you think about how it came out? Comment and let me know. Hopefully you learned a thing or two about how to finagle what you got going on. The last thing, before I forget, all this talking and rhyming and all the things, you know, freestyling, Urban Decay All Nighter Ultra Matte, all right? Let's just use the setting spray, but check out my face. Outside of a healthy glow, which, it's just going to happen because I'm using great products. Outside of that, I don't see no shine, honey. All right, last step is the Urban Decay Ultra Matte Long Lasting Makeup Setting Spray. Spray it out, this is brand new, so I'm spraying it out just to be careful. And get my handy dandy fan to fan things down. Hold it away. Okay. Those white spots, don't be alarmed. That's the product. You can take your sponge or just use your finger. All right, all right, face is dry now and let's do a close up. What do we think? Comment and let me know. I think it looks gorge. Face feels nice and matte, not tight, not uncomfortable, just gorgeous and beautiful. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. Make sure you comment below and also subscribe. Follow on Instagram and also follow on here. A lot of y'all be watching and hope you're subscribing. I don't understand that. Make sure you follow. Also hit the bell so that you don't miss a video. I'm gonna leave two more options for you to watch because you really don't need to go too far. You know, you know what I'm saying? Watch a few more videos, stick around for some time. I always appreciate you watching my videos, so thank you. And I'm gonna see you in the next one.
fine. All right, so I just came and sat at my office in front of the big, huge window in front of natural lighting, and I looked in the mirror, and the foundation does match me well. I know I was talking a whole lot of mess in the bathroom, but it just felt darker in there. But now in the natural lighting, this does look really good. It's just overall darker than usual, obvi. But I wanted to come on here and tell you this, that it does look really good in natural light, so I am gonna continue to use it, even though it's summertime yet. And of course, it'll look, it'll match me a lot better once I get darker in the summertime because yes black folks do, do tan and I will get darker okay but just wanted to insert this in so you can see it in natural lighting on my vlogging camera this is the Canon G7X and wow the orange blush is looking gorgeous with the lip oh, girl it's looking fantastimo it's looking all fantastimo to me so yes you know when you give yourself the warm crease color and then you have the warm blush and the warm lip mm, baby it's a whole vibe okay all right bye